Hi everyone, this video is part of a series on normalization in ServiceNow. In the first videos, we looked at the normalization data service as well as field normalization. In this video, we're going to look at the normalization feature specifically for hardware assets and hardware models. And then a little bit later in this series, we'll look at the corresponding feature for software assets and software models. Both of them take advantage of a central ServiceNow content service, which is essentially a repository for hardware models, manufacturers, and other data that you can normalize your records against. You need to opt into this service in order to be able to access this data. And by doing so, certain data in your instance will also be uploaded to the content service and may also form part of that content service later because it is a curated repository by ServiceNow and then there is a team that will take a look at the new models that are created that we don't already have in the content service, and they may be added to it so that all our customers can take advantage of this data. The advantage over field normalization is that you, as an administrator, do not have to maintain a list of manufacturers and models yourselves. So this data, as I said, is already provided by ServiceNow. The advantage over normalization data services is that the content service will provide suggestions or normalized values in separate fields in your hardware asset records. So they won't actually overwrite any data that you currently have in the respective fields for manufacturer and model name, etc. There are separate fields for normalized values. And then you can decide whether you want to accept those values or not. So let's take a look at how to set this feature up and provide a, a short demonstration on how it works. The first thing that we will need to do is to opt into the content service. So we'll come to hardware model normalization, content service setup. You'll also see it under software asset management and I've already opted in. So initially you'll just have a splash screen here giving you an overview of the content service and a checkbox to opt in. So you need to check that and then save it. And then you can review what data is gotten from ServiceNow, or will be downloaded from ServiceNow, and uh, what data will also be uploaded to ServiceNow. And then you can select specific models that you wanna switch on and off here. Okay, so once we do that, that's going to download a whole bunch of data into our ServiceNow instance. We've got some hardware models. You can see there's over 3 million records here. You can also see the content version as well, which tells you when that record was actually gotten from the content service or when it was added to the content service. There are other records as well that are added uh, to different tables, including uh, products, uh, device types, uh, lifecycle data, etc. So we just take a look at one of these records here. I've got a, a sample model number here for a laptop. And we can see here that it is a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon got the model number there and we've also got the life cycle data so in other words whenever we create a hardware model that is going to be normalized uh, with this data here we'll also get the life cycle data by default you know from the manufacturer via the content service so if I were to go ahead now and create a new hardware model so initially I'm just going to put in the manufacturer that's it Lenovo and then save that record we'll see the normalization status field here, manufacturer normalized, because we haven't got complete data about that hardware model yet to have a fully normalized record. And as you can see, I've modified this form. I've got a unique view here to show me the fields that are of importance to hardware normalization, which you can see on the right-hand side. You can also see the normalization hash fields here. So these are actually used to look up records in the content service to see if we can find a, a match or not. Uh, you can get different kinds of normalization depending on what kind of data you have or what data is matched. And it can be manufacturer normalized. And if I were to add also now a name here, so the name that we had in that record just earlier, and save that, we can see we've got a partially normalized because now we've got some data, but not all data that we need to normalize this record. But if we were to go ahead now and then add the model number, uh, that will be fully complemented now and we're able to normalize this record. 
So as you can see, the original values are never changed or updated, but you will always see here the normalized values on the right-hand side and the normalization status. And because it's fully normalized here, we can also get the lifecycle data and add that directly to the model record. So that's it. That's how you can easily take advantage of normalizing data for your hardware models using the content that is gotten from ServiceNow. Again, the original values are not changed and you can decide what to do uh, with those values. But you'll always see the normalized values there in those separate fields. So if you want to run reports off those fields, that's a decision for you to make. Now, if you do have a hardware model that you've created and it's not yet in the content service, you can add it uh, as well. So uh, if we go to the hardware model uh, table here and just create a new record here, you can see the table here is the custom product table. So it's not actually the, the product table from the content service itself. It's actually a child table of that. You can actually create a new record in here. So I can put in, for example, Roadrunner Trap, put in the name of the manufacturer, Acme Inc., and I can specify device type, my own custom device type, if I don't find one that's suitable, and just put that in there, and maybe just a short description. Now, I've set here to exclude from the content service, but even if I check this box, uh, I wouldn't be able to normalize according to these records yet. Okay, so this is basically how you get data that you want to add to the content service by creating a custom hardware product or a custom hardware product model, respectively. And then you'll have to wait a little bit until that data is then verified by the content team uh, for those records to be added to the content service, and then you're able to normalize your records. And we'll see a little bit later in this series as a way in which we can kind of cut short that time because you know it may take a couple of weeks or so before those records added to the content service, we can actually use machine learning now uh, to normalize values immediately. Uh, but we'll have a look at that a little bit later in this series. But for the moment, even if I add a record in here for a custom hardware product, a custom hardware product model, I won't be able to normalize models that I create using uh, this data. So if I come here and create a new custom hardware model here using that product, just fill in those details, save the record, and then come back to our hardware model table here, and I'll just add uh, Acme Inc. in here. Now, if I just save this right now, uh, we'll get a match not found because Acme Inc. actually isn't in the content service, so there's no way we can actually uh, normalize this record at this point in time. Okay, And even if I were to add the name and the model number here, save it, we still don't get a match because that's not yet in the content service. So that's it. That's a very simple and easy demonstration of the hardware content service for normalizing your hardware models. Um, as I said before, it has the advantage over field normalization in that you don't have to provide the normal values and the variance because they are gotten from ServiceNow. And as we've seen, this hardware model table from ServiceNow contains millions of records. So there's a pretty good chance you're going to be normalizing quite a large chunk of your hardware models and hardware assets using this data. But for those records that can't be normalized because they're not yet in the content service, you can add them by creating custom hardware model and custom products, but you'll have to wait until they're added to the content service, uh, reviewed first and then added. But we'll see in the a video a little bit later in this series how we can use machine learning to cut short that wait time. So in the next video, we're going to take um, another look at hardware model normalization, but this time we're going to look at how we can normalize our hardware models automatically when we're importing configuration items, either via discovery or just via the import set interface. So in this demonstration just now, I've created those hardware models manually, but we'll see how we can uh, utilize a more advanced functionality in the platform, but nevertheless, we are able then to fully normalize hardware models that are in the content service. Okay, so stay tuned for that one.